Hi, this is Graham from Jenna's Astro. In this video, I'm gonna do something different for my channel. I'm gonna unbox an eyepiece. Now, normally I unbox telescopes, got quite a few of those on my channel, but in this case, I've splashed some, uh, some funds on a Barda Morpheus eyepiece, so I'm gonna just put this short video together to open it up. Uh, filming in the kitchen, it's work in progress, so you don't need to send me any uh, comments about the paint, I know it's not finished. Okay, so, the box from First Light Optics says it may contain clouds, it's their usual warning. Hopefully it doesn't, uh, but let's open it up and see what's inside. So inside the foam we've got the box of the Morpheus, which is identified on the end here, 17.5mm, the longest um, focal length in this range of eyepieces. So let's have a look inside. So to start with we have a, a leaflet. and probably like a lot of Barda products, they're very versatile and perhaps lots of features that they want to explain to you uh, how you can use the eyepiece. Maybe not quite as obvious as it would be with, with a simpler product, but it identifies what they call the scope of delivery. So several items in there, but I'll see if we can figure it out. So main item of course is the eyepiece itself which is, I think, around 380 uh, grams. So have a look at that in a moment. And then underneath some foam and some cardboard, we have some dust caps, a couple of those. We have a alternative rubber eye cup, the one that's featured on the eyepiece out of the box is, is a round one, whereas this one is, is of this design. We've also got a little kind of extension ring here, which I believe you can use to raise the rubber eye cap further away from the, from the lens. If you want to adjust the eye relief somewhat. And it comes with a rather neat little holder. So you can put this, put this on your belt and carry the eyepiece around. There's also a little clip here, which I think you can use to clip on a sort of indication of the focal length of the eyepiece. So, let's get to the eyepiece itself. In this case, for me, this is a bit of a trip up market because as I get older, basically decided that it's probably best to have a smaller number of higher quality eyepieces and basically they all must have good eye relief. In the past, by comparison, here's a 17mm plus all that I would have used from the uh, Celestron Halloween range. It's pretty well the same focal length. You can kind of see the different packaging, but hopefully we're also going to see that this uh, Barda has got a much longer field of view, a much wider field of view, so it should be 76 degrees, whereas this is probably around 45 uh, degrees and uh, the eye relief, this is supposed to be 19 millimeters versus this one, which is for sure going to be less than 10 millimeters. So in terms of comfort, hoping that the Morpheus is, is good to use with glasses and worth um, a considerable step up in cost from the sort of things I've used in the past. So just to look at a couple of features, taking off these dust caps, you've got the the focal length identified, I think it's a luminescent paint, I have to let you know. On the side, nice substantial feel. The barrel is coated in, in rubber. And you can just see there the size of the lens. Um, the eye lens there is, is, is a big piece of glass. There's eight, eight lens elements in here. Compare that with sort of four in one of these. And I guess you can see yeah, chalk and cheese for these two designs. Uh, what else? Well, it comes with uh, an option to use the eyepiece in one and a quarter diameter focuser or in a two inch focuser. I believe this, this stays attached, although I'll experiment with that a bit later. And it has these little ridges, which I think are called curves, which are supposed to be sort of safety features when you're inserting the eyepiece. So there you go, um, Phantom Coating Group, sounds good. He's got a good reputation, so 
I'm hoping if you uh, press the subscribe button, if you haven't subscribed to Jones Astro, I'll be able to give you some video uh, feedback. Hoping to use this with my new Celestron Evolution 8 and taking the IP selection a little bit upmarket to see um, whether it's, it's well suited to use with that SCT. Okay, thanks for watching.